Okay, we're gonna finish up this front leg. <clears throat> Through the whole process, I painted on that black leg probably a half a dozen different times. And, and I think it's important to do it that way simply because, you know, I think it's important to paint, step away, look. You, you, you want that thing, you wanna imagine what the judge is gonna see when you send that calf to the ring. While you're painting and this paint's coming out of a can fresh, it has a little different, a little different shine to it. And if you got part of that leg that's dry and part of it that's still damp, I don't think you'll get a good vision of what the judge is going to see. So I like to paint, go work on something else, come back and add to it, stay off the areas that already look as close as they need to be as matching this body. And so that being said, we're going we're gonna to paint this front leg. you kind of seen us do it from scratch. The rotor brush and the blow on it so the hair wasn't napped together. On this particular steer, we used our firm adhesive, I think. Yes, we did. We used firm adhesive. Always, we always are using a steel comb when we're dressing. We used a full tooth comb simply because the steer's leg hair is about gone and we're starting over for this summer's county fair run with this calf. So with all that being said, we spent a lot of time on this leg. Uh, we, we did it with the firm adhesive. We built it with our white touch-up powder to give it more substance, more of a look of bone. Right at the end, we added Pro Enhancer, which is a follicle builder. And we only use the Pro Enhancer right here on these hairs from the back of his knee down to here, just to fill that gap in. If you got a close visual of this, those, those follicles are much thicker, so we filled that in. It doesn't look like EU legs from behind. And then again, as we talked, we give him that banana shape from the front to make him look like he's got the correct angle to his shoulder. Now we're gonna finish this calf off. It's time to go to the ring. I'll restate one more time. I don't like you to just do this as a last minute deal. This is something I want you to try at home with this particular calf to make sure you brought the right can to the show. You know, if you grabbed your smoke gray color, I don't think that would have been the right color for this calf. You need to know that before you get here because if you're doing that the last 15 minutes before you go to the show ring, you're in the middle of a wreck and you can't get out of it. It's too late to get out. So I think we got about the perfect matchup for this steer in our Pro Touch Up Cream for what I would call a butterscotch colored steer. Again, I'm spraying it from a distance. I'm just wanting it to kind of fall on the leg. I want to stay off the dew claw. I, I got a little pro touch up white powder. I can get that off with, with some uh, pro, po uh, pro gloss, excuse me. We oil their feet on these off colored cattle. We don't go in the well, I've seen everything. I've seen kids go in the ring with them colored white, colored black, uh, on a more predominant white Charlet. That, that looks goofy too. I would just, I would just use oil on these off-colored calves. Now we're getting fairly close on this leg. I want to do like I did on the back leg now. I just want to step away for a while. I want to let that dry. In a real setting, I would go to that side of the steer now and work on those legs. I just go right around the horn, let this dry like we let that dry several different settings. We went back to the leg and touched up where it needed touched up. But I think to get the leg look you want, I think it's almost mandatory that you don't just do this at one setting. As, as, as you notice, we did this leg and quite honestly, five minutes ago, this leg looked more blended to this cast body than it does right now. And I think it goes to with what I said about now the paints had a, uh, the, the Pro Touch cream has had a chance to dry and it takes on a little different shade. So that's why this calf's not done. That's why we, I wanna get this calf dressed and I wanna get the paint on these legs early in the process so I got him right when he goes. I don't wanna depend on myself to get this done just spur of the moment. We put this over the hoof, keep it off the hoof. Let's just imagine, even on a, my daughter had a black and white steer last year and he had some white blended up in his legs and that's how we would paint him. We just, we wanted that to be a distinctive line. So we, if assuming this was white, we would cover that and spray black and make the lines be very distinctive. But kind of the same theory here. I don't want that on the hoof. Although I can get it off, but it's just one, one more thing I got to worry about. I don't want it on his dew claw. We getting close? Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it a day. So.